Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to check if a word or a string contains a vowel using Java. So let's get right into it. We are going to make a boolean function, so we're going to do public static boolean, does string contain vowels? String input. So, this is going to return a true or a false, true for being valid or does contain vowels, and false for being it doesn't contain any vowels. Does string contain vowels is the name, and string input is going to be the parameter we're going to pass in and check if it has any vowels. So inside we're going to do one line of code, we're going to do return input.to lowercase dot matches AEIOU rejects. So that rejects will be in the description below for you to copy and paste, but basically it's checking if there's a lowercase vowel in the string. I might be thinking, but Max, what about if there's any uppercases? Well, don't worry. We're going to be converting the entire string well, we, when we do this check to lowercase, so any uppercase letters will become lowercase, so this rejects will work just fine. A rejects is basically a set of rules or a pattern defined by a string, and we can check if a string matches those rules and patterns, which is what the dot matches function does. And if there's a match, we return true. If there's not a match, we return false. And that's basically what we do, so let's test the code. So we're going to do system.out.println, does string contain vowels? Hello. So we call our function inside the system.out.println statement, and that's going to print true or false to the console. So let's save our work and hit play. And it's true. Hello does contain vowels. It contains E and O. Let's try a bunch more words. Wow, look at all these words. Let's uh hit play and see what happens. Well, we've got a bunch of trues and falses. So hello and world, both contain vowels, TV doesn't, Quagsire does, Rhythm doesn't, Ichigo does, Jim and Myths don't contain vowels. So thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Java tutorials.